What we've got here today is the Ampere Primus. Now, Ampere is the e-scooter brand owned by Greaves Mobility and the Primus is its first truly indigenous made in India, made for India offering. Let's check it out. Within the Ampere lineup, this Primus sits at the top. It's the flagship, it's priced at 1.1 lakh rupees X showroom. And where that places it in the e-scooter market is slightly below the base variant of the TVS iCube and exactly on par with the Ola S1 Air in its most expensive guise. In terms of performance on paper, this is quite similar to something like the iCube. You've got a 4 kilowatt motor which gives you a 0 to 40 time of 4.2 seconds and a claimed top speed of 77 kph, both of which are near identical to the TVS. In the real world though, things aren't quite so similar. Now the Primus isn't what you'd call slow or sluggish, but it doesn't quite have the zip you'd expect from a 4 kilowatt electric scooter either. Even in its highest power mode, it doesn't feel quite as quick as something like a TVS iCube, and acceleration also trails off quite considerably beyond 40 kph. That being said, it does continue steadily gaining speed and it will eventually cross a speedo indicated 80 kph. So overall performance levels are adequate for city commuting and you're not going to be a liability in traffic, but you're not going to be entertained either. And then there's the all important question of range. The Primus packs in a 3 kWh battery pack. This is an LFP battery pack that offers better thermal properties but loses out a little on energy density compared to a conventional NMC battery pack. This pack resides under the seat and what it offers is an ARAI certified range of 107 kilometers. In the real world though, you might not get quite that much, but we hope to find that out for ourselves sometime soon. We spent the day riding mostly in power mode and the scooter seemed on course to cover somewhere between 70 and 80 kilometers on a full charge. Once it's dead, Ampere says a full top-up will take about 5 hours, while an optional fast charger will cut this down to roughly 2.5 hours. We noticed though that the scooter's SOC indicator isn't the most accurate or reliable unit around. It only dropped 1% from 100 to 99% after the first 10 kilometers of riding, and then dropped a further 15% over the next 10 kilometers of riding. So there's clearly still some work to be done in this area. There were other issues with the small Bluetooth enabled LCD display as well. Aside from the fact that it's quite dim and difficult to read under bright sunlight, the single trip meter cannot be reset manually. It automatically resets every time the scooter is left off for a while and then turned back on. Strangely, the clock seems to reset like this as well, and it's also not possible to manually toggle between the odometer and the trip meter on the screen. One thing that does strike you when you jump aboard is the riding position. The floorboard is quite high up. I'm not a very tall guy, but even for me, it's a bit of a knees up position. Aside from the knees up posture, there's a reasonable amount of space for both rider and pillion, and the floorboard is fairly roomy as well. There's a decent amount of storage space under the seat, 22 litres according to Ampere. The compartment is wide and fairly long, but not very deep, so you can't fit a helmet, but it will swallow a good amount of other smaller items. There's also a fairly large cubby on the back of the apron. As far as features go, you've got an LED headlight, Bluetooth connectivity, three riding modes and reverse, as well as a USB charger in the cubby on the back of the apron. Fit levels across the scooter are quite decent, but there are a number of other ways in which the Primus does feel quite built to a cost. Material quality for one isn't great on something that costs over 1 lakh rupees X showroom and a front drum brake is rather surprising at this price point. You don't even have the option of a front disc. The rest of the chassis package is fairly decent with 12 inch wheels at both ends. Ride quality strikes a nice middle ground, not as soft as something like an iCube but not as stiff as an Aether either. It feels sure-footed around corners while still keeping you comfortable over bad patches of road. But the weak drum brakes really hold you back from upping the pace and having fun on board this scooter. The Ampere Primus is a bit of a strange scooter to sum up. At 1.1 lakh rupees, it certainly isn't cheap in absolute terms. You could get a far more capable and better equipped petrol scooter for less money. In the electric space, it is more affordable than most of the well-established premium e-scooters around, but not by much. If a cost-effective, basic and simple e-scooter is what you're after, the Primus could be worth considering. And the LFP battery does have its appeal. For most people though, the extra 8,000 rupees that you pay for the base TVS iCube is well worth paying. 
The stronger performance, better seating comfort and front disc brake on their own would justify that premium, but you also get a neat TFT display, better build quality and a stronger reputation.